What's going on everybody? Toby Wan Shinobi here. I have got a video for you, my friends. In this Fortnite Zero Build video, I'm gonna be talking about advanced and fundamental movement techniques that you need to learn to become an unhittable movement demon in Fortnite Zero Build. You are gonna go from being this guy to being this guy. Oh, yeah. There are so many movement techniques in Fortnite that I can't cover them all in one video. So this video is gonna be covering your innate movement, stuff you can always do without any equipment or special utility. And believe me, there's a lot to master here. Let's jump into it. Now, we should probably start with the fundamentals, but I know a lot of you are here for that sweet nectar. You know what I'm saying, bro. Breaking ankles, getting them lost in the sauce. So for fun, I'm gonna jump straight into advanced jukes. These are techniques that will break an opponent's aim assist and just completely throw them off on any platform. Now, one thing I do want to mention is that with all movement techniques, you should try to pre-aim and line up your shot as much as possible rather than swinging your reticle around as you're moving. You'll have a much higher success rate by doing this. Let's start off with a leapfrog. This is a basic maneuver that involves jumping over your opponent's head or out of their view. And it's best done when your enemy's coming around the corner at you. To start off, you need to enact a sprint and and then jump over them as they turn the corner. Quickly flip your aim 180 degrees to look back at them as you're falling. In general, I wouldn't try to aim straight down and shoot them while you're jumping over them because this can be very difficult to land a clean shot and it makes resetting your aim back onto them pretty hard. The leapfrog can be used in all kinds of situations and you'll continue to see it in different forms throughout this video. Before we get into the sliding techniques, for you controller players, there is a secret sliding setting that you absolutely need to enable. Change your slide input time to be immediate at 0.01 seconds. This allows you to instantly slide without delay when moving fast. Go to controller options and change slide hold time to the lowest amount. All right, now we're ready for the slide shot. This is the bread and butter of a lot of combat movements. Start by sprinting for a moment, then immediately hit your crouch button to enter a slide. Aim behind your opponent and pull the trigger as your reticle crosses them. You can keep the slide going if you have enough speed and they still aren't hitting you because many of your opponents will struggle to hit a small moving target. Working off that same concept is the slide jump shot. This is fairly simple, but very effective. Start with a quick sprint and then enter a slide. Once your opponent begins to track you, exit the slide by jumping jumping and taking a shotgun shot at them. Generally, you can be a little bit more accurate this way because you have more time to line up the shot while jumping and your opponent is gonna be aiming at your slide trajectory as you jump over their reticle. Still working with the slide shot is the slide shot from around cover. This is the same as the original slide shot, but we're coming out of cover into a slide, which requires a little bit of a runway to get a sprint going. The most essential part of this is having good crosshair placement to line Line up the shot so that your reticle is crossing over your opponent when you come around the cover. It's very difficult to slide straight and then accurately swing your reticle to the position of the enemy. And again, just make sure you have enough runway to get a sprint going so that you can slide from out of the cover. Nothing more awkward than instantly running out of cover and getting shot in the face when you should have been sliding. Next up is the fadeaway slide. Here we're getting an advantage by moving quickly while still aiming down sights and we're reducing our hitbox size. It's basically a longer version of the slide shot where you turn your back toward your enemy while sliding and continue to fire at them while moving in a single direction during the slide. It's best used on inclines like hills, stairs, and roofs so that you can keep that momentum going and keep firing at your opponent. All right, now we got the leapfrog into fadeaway slide. This is just combining both movement techs together where you jump over someone's head, break their camera view, and then finish off by sliding away while aiming down sights and putting out constant damage on your opponent. Pretty straightforward and highly effective. All right, now we got the ridgeline juke. This deceptive juke can be used in any environment where there are two inclines that meet to form a ridge. Begin the fight on one side of the ridge by dealing some quick damage on your opponent and then immediately turn your back and sprint away. Quickly enter a slide and slide over the ridge. Your opponent will lose sight of you and begin to either 
sprint after you or jump to get a view. But as soon as you cross over that ridge and you're no longer in view, exit the slide and stand up to look back at your opponent. Nine out of 10 times, you're gonna get free damage on them because they'll be chasing or they'll just be completely unprepared for it. One important note about this juke is you wanna turn around and sprint away from your opponent when you're near the top of the ridge. Otherwise, you're gonna give them too much time to put shots into your back and it's just not gonna be worth it. All right, next we have the mantle juke. Mantle jukes can take many forms, but the gist of it is to use a ledge climb as a way to avoid enemy damage. You wanna deal damage and then enter a mantle animation to avoid an enemy shot or break view from their camera. One method is to take a shotgun shot at someone while jumping, then quickly flip your aim to a ledge and climb it to avoid their shot. Another method is to jump from a ledge, take the shot and then clamber back onto the ledge you just jumped from. There are many ways to work this into your gameplay. You just need to practice it often and always be looking for ways to use a mantle to avoid enemy fire. All right. Next, we have the Direction Fake. This is another deceptive juke where you make an enemy think you're coming at them from one direction of a piece of cover, but you come at them from the other side. For example, if your enemy is hiding behind a tree or a rock, you wanna sprint at them and steer your character so it looks like you're moving left, but at the last second, you wanna flip your direction to the other side of the cover and sprint jump to catch them looking the wrong way. The most important part here is just selling the fake. So you really have to make it look like you're coming one way and then at the last second go the other. This is best done when you have an opponent hurt and you just need to finish them off with a single shot, but they're hiding from you. All right, and the last juke in general is just breaking cameras. Similar to leapfrogging, you can jump over your opponent during combat to break their line of sight and disengage their aim assist. You just need to quickly sprint and then jump at them or jump over them during the fight. Now this requires getting used to quickly sprint jumping during normal combat. If you just simply jump while fighting them, you won't get enough velocity or height to break from the camera view. Now, I just wanna say this is a risky move because you're giving your opponent a few moments to put damage on you while you aren't firing back. So use it wisely and you probably wanna reserve it for when you're down in the fight. Whew, all right. There are probably some more jukes that I'm forgetting about, but let's move on to fundamentals now, which is definitely more important for most players who wanna learn good movement skills in Fortnite Zero Build. Real quick, I just want to thank you for watching this video and giving my content a chance. I know there's a lot of options out there, so I really do appreciate that. If you like what you see, please demolish that like button. <laughs> It takes just a moment for you, but it makes a huge difference for me and my channel. I really do appreciate that, my friend. Let's get back into it. All right, the first fundamental to learning good movement in Fortnite Zero Build is to always be moving like a weirdo. Yes, that's right. Picture natural human movement. Now do the exact opposite of that. This is the basis of becoming a hard target to hit at all times. When you're standing on high ground, scoping things out, don't be standing, strafe in circles, crouch up and down, do short sprints, slide around, be a crackhead, <laughs> all right? Even when you're shooting at people from far ranges, always be strafing and crouch shotting. That way you get comfortable moving while shooting and you won't get your head removed from your shoulders by a bush camping sniper with zero kills in the final circle. It's never happened to me, let's not talk about it. When you're moving across any space at all, just be sprint jumping into slides, jumping out of slides, back into slides. When you're coming around corners, practice lining up your slide shots on enemies who might be hiding there. When you're moving through structures, practice parkour movement and climbing. Sprint jump across gaps and catch yourself on ledges. The world is your jungle gym. Entertain yourself with movement while you're traversing the environment and you'll have a lot more fun while improving your movement mechanics. Truly, if you begin moving like this at all times, your movement will naturally improve and it'll make it much easier to learn the more advanced movement techniques that I'm showing you in this video. Okay, before we take the deep dive into fundamentals, let's cover some quick tips and hidden mechanics of movement. Number one, sprint jumping gains you an extra 10% height versus just jumping while jogging or standing still. You can use this to get up to higher ledges that were originally unreachable with a normal jump. Brutal Bastion in particular has a lot of ledges that can only be 
reached with sprint jumps. Number two, sliding does not use stamina, and it's often just as fast as sprinting or even faster when moving downhill. Number three, sliding is the optimal way to cross any sloped area because you can turn 360 degrees to check your surroundings while still moving toward your objective, and you can regain stamina while doing so. Number four, again, controller players should set their sprint input to be immediate as discussed earlier. Number five, I highly recommend using toggle sprint because this makes button combos much easier to do while sprinting. Additionally, for your mantle activation, I would go for hold to jump for cleaner movement. With hold forward, you're gonna get a lot of accidental mantles. Number six, most of the time you should not be aiming down sights with a shotgun, pistol, or SMG in a close range fight unless your enemy is not firing back at you and you can catch them off guard. Aiming down sights slows down your movement and makes you much easier to hit at close ranges. SMGs, pistols, and shotguns generally have good enough accuracy at close range to just hip fire. There are a few exceptions to this rule, but I'm not gonna get into them right now. Number seven, whenever you jump off a zip line, you have invulnerability to fall damage. So use this to your advantage to get places quicker and juke your enemies, shown later in the video. Number eight, your stamina bar is significantly reduced when sprinting and sprint jumping. Good stamina management is something that sets good players apart from great players. We'll discuss this in more depth later in the video. All right, into the combat movement fundamentals. The first combat movement fundamental that you need to master is strafing and crouch shotting. There is a night and day difference between fighting someone who doesn't strafe well and someone who's mastered strafing and crouching movement. Strafing erratically can throw off your opponent's aim and more importantly, their shot tempo and their psyche. So let's explore some strafing techniques. First off, no matter what, whenever you're shooting, you should always be strafing, even if you feel like nobody's watching you. This will reduce how often you get sniped and it's a great habit to build so you're always strafing when fighting. This is also one of the reasons that I so rarely get headshot sniped and I'm almost never scared of snipers. It's really hard to hit a strafing target at range. If you keep practicing strafing while aiming, you're gonna learn to compensate your aim for your movement and you're gonna survive a lot more engagements. One last thing, try not to just go evenly left and right. Work in a double strafe to one side to really throw off your opponent. Difficult to learn, but extremely effective once mastered. You can also use cover to strafe in and out of sporadically in a non-rhythm to throw off your opponent. Double peek one side of a tree, then single peek the other side, etc. The gist of it is, learn to strafe and always be working on your strafe. You know, never be satisfied with your strafe. I'm not satisfied with my strafe, never will be. Ha. Let's talk about crouch shotting. It's pretty straightforward for the most part and highly effective in all ranges of fights. The most difficult part of crouching during combat is not throwing off your own aim. You need to map your crouch button to an easy to press button while firing your weapon and aiming down sights. You can mostly just spam crouch erratically and your opponent will have a hard time hitting you. But even more than becoming a hard target, when you begin to spam crouch during a fight, you are throwing your opponent's mental game off. 90% of players do not crouch spam during fights so when you run into someone doing it, it instantly makes your opponent freaked out because you're moving so weird. And most of the time, they're gonna think you're a sweat and subconsciously, they'll lose confidence in the fight. Even a single crouch and then staying crouched after your first shotgun shot can throw off their aim and their mental game, especially at close ranges. Just think about the last person who you fought who is spam crouching while fighting. I'm sure you're having a flashback to thinking, oh my God, this person is annoying. So be that player. Now, one of the biggest keys here is to get a nice accurate shot first and then spam the crouch button in order to avoid the return fire. All right, let's talk about managing your stamina. Many people overlook this aspect of movement, but it's super important. In order to keep moving quickly, you need to learn to manage your stamina so that you can sprint, slide, or sprint jump when needed. Sprint jumping uses stamina and sprinting uses stamina, but jumping out of a slide and back into a slide does not use stamina. So if you're ever in a situation where there's potential danger, you should never use all of your stamina unless you absolutely have to. This goes for running across wide open spaces as well. Instead, let your stamina bar get low, but sprint into a slide to retain a small percentage of that stamina bar in case you need it to avoid gunshots. The easiest target to eliminate is one that is moving slow and predictably, and that is one without stamina. If you always have stamina left in the tank, then you always have the ability to quickly become a hard target to hit. Oh, all right.
right. Let's talk about sprint jumping real quick. Sprint jumping is the basis of most combat movement and it's a great way to break aim assist or break from your opponent's camera. You need to get comfortable with quickly entering a sprint followed by instantly jumping. Begin to do this in combat and it can be used in all sorts of scenarios to juke out your opponent or escape danger. Let's talk about sliding movement. Sliding movement is one of the most useful tools to be an elusive target or to get you places quicker. You become a smaller target for your enemy and you can aim down sights while moving quickly when sliding. So it's better than just strafing. Now you can use sliding to carry momentum down slopes without using your stamina. And if the incline is steep enough, then it's actually faster than sprinting. You can also use your mobility gear and fall from the sky into a slide for extra speed and elusiveness. I'd say I fall into a slide about 75% of the time that I use my mobility gear, come off a zip line, or even just sprint jump. Basically, you should always be sliding as much as possible to get used to the mechanic and feel comfortable with it at all times because it really is one of the most powerful movement techniques in zero build. And it's gonna prep you for sliding in combat. Sliding in combat is a pretty advanced technique that I encourage everyone to learn because it's crazy powerful and it's super fun. Sliding during combat is hard to master, but once you do, you will become a completely different type of player. You know exactly what I'm talking about because you've probably fought that type of player. Sliding can be used in many scenarios, but the most common are gonna be coming around a piece of cover and and taking the enemy by surprise or being out in the open with no cover at all and becoming a hard target to hit. All right, let's talk about mantling movement. Most people use mantling or climbing to just reach another level and climb things but it can also be used to be a hard target to hit. This is an advanced technique that can be used frequently in structure fights. The mantle animation is difficult to predict and it moves fast. So oftentimes you can take a shot, quickly mantle, and then shoot again to dodge enemy fire in close range fights. And mantling often has bugs that will throw you in a different direction or make your character model become tiny for a moment, which can actually be an extra bonus to avoiding damage as well. I encourage you to be practicing your mantling during combat, especially especially against bots where there's low risk. All right, let's breeze over zipline movement. I won't get into this too much because I cover it in my Tfue's combat secret video, but you should always be using ziplines to outmaneuver and juke your opponent. Don't just ride a zipline all the way through. Jump on and off of it during fights quickly or jump early from the top of it to take a peak shot and fall back down, etc. You are invulnerable to fall damage when jumping off ziplines and you can change your vertical direction in an instant with them, so use that to your advantage. All right, let's quickly talk about vehicle movement. This is another movement technique I cover in my Tifu combat secret video, but to sum it up, you can use cars to gain a huge advantage in a fight by using a shotgun and shooting it, then entering the car while your opponent shoots at you, then exiting the car to take another shot at them, rinse and repeat until they're dead. One thing to note is you always wanna keep the car out of their activation range so that they cannot enter it as well. Honestly, using cars like this makes your fights free and it's extremely easy to learn, even though it looks intimidating at first. Again, we're gonna quickly cover katana or just general mobility movement. I made an entire video on the katana movement, but I'll share a quick tip. The most effective way to push someone with your mobility item, like a shockwave or a kinetic blade, is to fly behind them or to the side of them because they'll lose track of you. You also want to try to get a lot of height when you're pushing someone so that you have time to line up your shot as you fall down toward them. If you want more Fortnite Zero Build tips, you should watch my other videos and join the live streams. If you have any questions, please comment them below. I respond to every single comment. If you haven't subscribed already, it's time to do so now. Seriously, you got nothing to lose. I have a constant flow of content every week, so you might as well hit that notification bell to get alerts when my videos drop. Now, here is the best system to improve shotgun aim. I guarantee it's gonna help you. Have a great day, my friend. Shinobi out.